Welcome back to Defense Central's coverage of DSEI 2025, the largest defense and security exhibition in Europe. Taking place in London from September 9th to 12th, this year's event brought together more than 1,700 exhibitors and 60,000 attendees, featuring dedicated zones for land, maritime, aerospace, space, and cyber domains. Under the theme, Preparing Today for the Challenges of Tomorrow, DSEI 2025 took place at a moment when global defense spending is at an all-time high. Massive geopolitical shifts and rapid technological breakthroughs are reshaping how militaries plan, procure, and operate, and the exhibition reflected that with zones dedicated to land, naval, aerospace, security, and space, as well as a growing tech zone showcasing AI, robotics, electronic warfare, and cyber. In our last video, we explored the latest missile and strike systems showcased at the event. In this segment, we're turning our attention to armored fighting vehicles, a category that drew significant attention in London as manufacturers unveiled brand new platforms and upgraded workhorses of modern ground warfare. Let's take a look at the future of armored combat. Armored fighting vehicles were another category that drew significant attention at this year's edition of DSEI. Manufacturers used the exhibition to reveal new designs, while also presenting upgraded variants of vehicles already in service, showing how the sector is adapting to changing operational demands. As we covered in our previous video, General Dynamics Land Systems showcased the new Ajax Infantry Fighting Vehicle variant and the Blackjacks Demonstrator. Check out that video to learn more about both platforms. Other companies also use the exhibition to present new vehicles. Patria of Finland unveiled the Trax, a light-tracked armored personnel carrier designed as a successor to the aging M113. Depending on its armor configuration, Trax weighs between 13 and 18 tons and carries a crew of two plus up to 10 soldiers. Patria emphasizes its modular design and ease of production, with initial deliveries projected by 2027. From Germany, FFG revealed the Condor, a combat vehicle concept based on the upgraded Leopard 1 chassis. The prototype features modular armor, a new digital electronic suite, and a dual-belt-fed 30mm cannon that enables crews to switch ammunition types quickly in combat. FFG is positioning the Condor as a cost-effective way to modernize legacy Leopard 1 fleets still in service. This approach makes it especially relevant to operators in South America and Asia, where Leopard 1 hulls remain in storage or active duty, offering an upgrade path without the costs of acquiring an entirely new vehicle fleet. Finally, BAE Systems presented the Armored Multi-Purpose Vehicle, or AMPV Command and Control variant, part of the U.S. Army's armored multi-purpose vehicle family. Configured as a mobile command post, it provides protected workspace for battle management and demonstrates the flexibility of the AMPV line, which already includes medical, mortar, and recovery versions. While the AMPV program is primarily focused on U.S. Army procurement, BAE used DSEI to highlight its adaptability to potential export customers, especially countries seeking replacements for aging command post vehicles or considering alternatives to the Bradley. This year's exhibition showed a clear trend. Modular design, affordability, and versatility are top priorities for modern land systems. With the growing threat of drone strikes and contested environments, manufacturers are focused on creating platforms that are not only well-protected, but adaptable to various mission profiles. Expect to see these vehicles, and the technology behind them, making headlines in procurement decisions over the next few years. Which of these new armored vehicles impressed you the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more in-depth breakdowns from Defense Central at DSEI 2025.